This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by LG G3. Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Michael Han. So we're back with our weekly Android app brought to you by LG. I'm not usually too worried about what browser I use on my phone. Stock browser is fine, Chrome is fine. As long as it loads web pages, I don't really care. But this week, there was a big rumble about a browser called Javelin, so I thought I would give it a look. Javelin follows Android L's new material design aesthetic, so there's lots of app animations, bright colors, and leaves you wondering whether it's actually more functional than the old design. But all right, on to the thing that's important to me, browsing. Yes, it browses. <laughs> so the underlying engine uses Chromium's web view, so it acts very similar to Chrome. You can request desktop websites, go incognito, and even sync with Chrome desktop. But there are other nifty features that Javelin adds on top that might make you wanna switch over. So first, there's a built-in ad blocker that you can enable just by checking a little checkbox. It'll save you some bandwidth and load times on pages. Also really great is the stacked view. This is similar to an app called Hover that we covered a few months back. Basically, you can open up links from any app and a little link bubble will appear at the top. Click the bubble and you can view those links without having to switch applications. This is really useful when you're scrolling through a Facebook feed and there's tons of links popping up, you can just queue them up. There are basic gesture controls in stacked mode, swipe right to minimize, up to cycle to the next tab, and down to close windows. It's very cool, very useful, I like it. All right, I'll get to my favorite feature of Javelin next, but first, have you seen the LG G3? It's a freaking great phone. Removable battery, micro SD slot, really good camera with laser autofocus, the screen is great, 538 pixels per inch, and it has cool LG features like a knock code that'll unlock your phone if you do it right. And hey, it's open without a pin code. It's pretty cool. Check it out in person, I know you'll like it. All right, so my favorite part about Javelin is the reading mode. If you're on a site that isn't formatted very well for mobile, click the little eyeball and the browser will strip out all of the unnecessary columns and format the web page nicely. You can resize the text and even switch to a night mode that's easy on your eyes at night. All right, so Javelin is free in the App Store with some in-app purchases. The free version will get you up to 10 tabs, but you're stuck with the default home screen. If you wanna to upgrade to the Pro version for $2.99, you'll get reading mode in the stacked view and unlimited tabs, or you can pay $1.99 per month for the spirit mode. This routes all of your traffic through US VPN servers. It makes your browsing a little more anonymous. I haven't tried it myself, but it seems like a potentially huge feature for some people. That's my overview of Javelin. I think it might actually replace Chrome for me. Give the free version a shot and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Michael Han, see you later. Watch our videos over there. That one's good. <laughs>